Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So children, so we have completed two chapters so far. Uh, one is polynomials, the other one is linear equation in two variables, right? So now I am going to revise this polynomials once, okay? You will be having a test, a small test coming this uh, mid of this week, okay? I will be giving you a test. Uh, so I will tell you, I will explain you how uh, to write the test and how it is going to be. Now first, you know, let us just revise what all is there in this chapter of polynomials, okay? So if you want, you can write this in your uh, classwork as a revision or you can just, you know, save this and keep this video as you feel. Uh, it's better if you write it, okay? All right. Now see, <coughs> so in polynomials, the kind of questions you may be asked, okay? See, the test which I'm going to give you is all based on MCQ, multiple choice questions, okay? There will be some 15 questions and you are going to uh, solve it in a paper. You know, there will be problems where, you know, you'll have to solve it, but you don't have to solve it and show it to me. You just have to solve it in a paper and whatever answer you are going to get, you're going to choose that answer in the option, okay? I'll be giving you four options in each question. You'll have to choose that option, okay? So now, see, you should know the coefficient. See, they may give you questions based on the coefficient. How to find the coefficient of a particular variable? Like, they, they may ask you to find the, see, they may give you something like this. An expression like this may be given to you and they may ask you to find the coefficient of x to the power of 4. If they ask you to find the coefficient of x to the power of 4, you will say 5 is the coefficient, uh, so 5 is the coefficient of x to the power of 4, okay. That is the number attached to the, uh, the particular variable, variable whichever they are asking you, that is going to be your coefficient, okay. And if they ask you what is the coefficient of x cube, then in that case you will say negative 3, minus 3, okay. So you have to write the number with the sign. Here we just wrote 5 because 5 did not have any sign. Here 3 is having a minus sign, so I will be writing minus 3, okay. And x square has a coefficient of 2. So, if they ask you what is the coefficient of x, it is going to be minus 4. Now, if they ask you what is a constant, so constant is a number which does not have any kind of x uh, attached to it. So, that is going to be 1 over here. So, 1 is the constant, okay. So, you should know how to find the coefficient properly. Then degree. Now, they may give you an expression like this and they may ask you to find the degree. So, degree is the number uh, on uh, the power of the x, okay, with the highest power of x. See, highest power of the variable, variable is nothing but x over here, is the degree of the polynomial. So, in this case, you see, this there is an x over here, there is an x over here, there is an x over here and there is an x over here. Now, we have to see the powers of the x, okay. Here it is 5, here it is 3, here it is 6 and here nothing is there, so it is 1. So, the highest among these is 6. So, 6 is the degree of the polynomial, okay. Now, if I give you one more example like this, okay, 3x to the power of 5. So, there is a degree, uh, I mean power of 5. Here there is a power of 4. Here there is a power of 6. Here there is a power of 7. So, now you may be asked what is the degree of uh, this polynomial. So, you may feel like saying 7, okay, because 7 is the highest among them. But you see, 7 has got a coefficient of 0, right? So, 0 into x to the power of 7 is actually 0, correct? So, that is why this is not a uh, degree, the degree will be the next number which is this, that is 6 is the degree again, got it? So, that is why I have written degree is 6 and not 7 because uh, a coefficient of x to the power of 7 is 0, okay? When you multiply it by 0, you do not have x to the power of 7 in that uh, thing at, at all, right? So, that is why you will not take the 7 as a degree. Okay. Now, if I ask you what is the degree of 4, okay, if I give you just this term, p of x is equals to 4, there is no x involved. So, that means there is no x, there is a x and the power of this x is 0. Say x to the power of 0 is 1, okay, or any number to the power of 0 is going to be 1. Let me say 100 to the power of 0 is going to be 1. Any number to the power of 0 will be 1. So, here I have got only 4, right? So, you know, in, in, with that I can actually uh, write x to the power of 0 because uh, that means it is 1, right? So, therefore, degree is equals to 0, okay? All right. For any constant number, degree will be 0, okay? Now, look at this polynomial. The variable in the algebraic expression should not be having a negative power. So, here we are saying what is a polynomial, okay? You should know how to recognize a polynomial. So, here uh, let us say there is an algebraic expression. If that algebraic expression has a negative power, okay? If you have an x in the you know, negative power uh, for the x, okay? 
or a rational power that is you know you have a, a rational number as a power or a radical radical means it's a root okay square root or not so then it's not going to be called as a polynomial so we'll see what all is not a polynomial see if i give you an expression like this this is an algebraic expression right so this expression has got x cube x square x and a number so numbers is not a problem you can have any kind of numbers but the only issue is with the x okay the variable a variable this is having a x cube so that is 3 not a problem and this is having 2 as a power not a problem again here this is having 1 as a power so again this is not a problem so this is a proper polynomial okay this is a this satisfies all the condition of a polynomial now you look at the second case okay this is one case look at the second case it says 4 x cube plus 3 to x to the power of minus 2 plus 4x. So, here you see this is not a polynomial because of the negative 2 over here. You are not supposed to have a negative power for a uh, variable. Understood? So, this is not a polynomial. Okay? Right. Now, come to this. Here in this third case, here you see you have got uh, 5x to the power of 4 so this is proper not a problem this and this are also proper but here you see you have got a x cube in the denominator so this you know makes the as a uh, you know it's a uh, it violates the uh, polynomial rule so x cube if it comes in the x if e, x cube or x square or any x coming in the denominator if you have any one term like this it's go, it's not uh, called as a polynomial so that's why we say this is not a polynomial as x cube is in the denominator okay then come to the for the next one here you see here x to the power of 5 is not a problem x cube is also not a problem this x is also not a problem but here you see you have got a root x right so you are not supposed to have a root a radical for a x so this is not a polynomial okay due to the x root x all right now come to the next one here you see again you have a polynomial where cube is fine and this 4 is also fine this one is having a 3 by 2 a rational number right so this is not a polynomial again because of the rational power okay so you should know how to recognize a polynomial you may be uh, given a multiple choice uh, question question like you know they may give you four options four uh, um, expressions and they may ask you to uh, choose one polynomial maybe you know the other three may be not a polynomial they may not be a polynomial and they may give you only one polynomial in the option you will have to uh, choose the best one I mean the correct one okay so anyways they can ask you the question so you should know how to recognize a polynomial now you come to this property the fourth one see polynomials having only one term is called a monomial so I've just taken it from your textbook the definition so based on these three uh, definitions you may be asked a uh, question uh, again I'm a MCQ see one, only one term see this is 5x 9 3 x square these are all having only one term see when I say two terms it should have a plus or minus in between okay so this is not having a plus or minus see multiplication and division is not considered as a different terms like if I have a 3 by x this is one term only okay this is division right 3 by uh, x 3 divided by x is considered as one term okay so monomial is a term which has uh, is a polynomial which has only one term now polynomial uh, having only two terms is called a binomial Binom by means two okay see like two plus three by so here the plus sign makes it you know divides this into two terms okay here a negative sign is there so two terms here plus sign is there so two terms okay so this is the example of uh, binomial now polynomials having only three terms are called trinomials okay tri means three we know this right tri means three so here you see this is one term this is the second term this is the third term so there is there are two plus signs so the positive or a negative sign is what divides the uh, you know terms it separates the terms okay now this is the thing see here also we have got one two three terms so it's a trinomial okay now now coming to this a polynomial of degree one is called a linear polynomial so first you know in the fourth uh, main we just saw different uh, number of terms so dif based on the terms we can call them as monomial binomial trinomial here based on the degree see here the degree of the polynomial is the x is having one right here a uh, seven uh, doesn't have a uh, this thing so one is the degree in this case degree is one here you see one and here also one see there are two variables and both of them are having one so that one will be the degree again okay the highest among them is called as the degree so the de when degree is one it's called as a linear polynomial okay now a polynomial of degree two is called quadratic polynomial so see here you have got two here you have got one but two is the larger one so degree is two 
here you see x square minus 3 so 2 is the larger one so degree is 2 so sometimes I may give you y is equals to x square plus 5 so here you see the degree of the y is 1 the degree of x is 2 so the larger among this will taken okay so x degree is 2 understood okay so degree when it is 2 it's called as quadratic Okay, so based on this also they may give you a question okay they may just give you what a quadratic polynomial mean or if it is a degree uh, to what is it it's, is it called a cubic a polynomial or a quadratic or a linear and something like that okay so you should know how to uh, figure that out now here a polynomial of degree 3 if the degree is 3 it's called as cubic okay so see here the polynomial has got a 3 as the 3 is the uh, larger uh, uh, co um, power for the variable right so the degree is 3 over here here also 3 right see we are not bothered about the other terms okay it, it can be there or it cannot be there that's not a uh, thing the only the larger term we see so this is 3 again okay so the degree is 3 so this is called as a cubic polynomial for more than uh, 3 you know for 4 5 6 and all we don't have a particular uh, term see of course for 4 we have it uh, but then you know that is not required for you ok then after uh, 4 we just call it as polynomial of degree uh, uh, so and so ok whatever number is there ok but then the name polynomials are you know linear quadratic po cubic and there is one more for 4 you have quartic but that is not required for you ok so you just remember these 4 properly understood now here uh, that is it uh, like you know this is just you know your uh, uh, basics of polynomials what you are supposed to know ok. So, now I will be doing uh, one more uh, uh, this thing one more uh, um, page is there uh, that is you know it says uh, uh, what is it called you have another uh, page uh, involving all the um, uh, numerical values ok. So, we will be doing that also uh, so now let me uh, just start that ok. So, just the numerical value see you see this uh, revision 2 ok. So, this is just the same um, chapter, uh, but you know the earlier whatever we did was all uh, your uh, you know basics you need to know the definitions and uh, how a polynomial is uh, uh, defined or you know what is degree coefficient constant all those things ok. This is that, that was the basics ok and that is more easier one also here this is all the solving part ok how to solve. So, we are going to look at these numerical problems. So, this first one is like you know how do you find the uh, value of a polynomial ok see how they, they may give you a question like this find the value of p of x at x is equals to negative 1 this is the question ok you are supposed to find the value of p of x see p of x is given like this you have to find it find the value at x is equals to minus 1 ok that means wherever you have x you are going to put minus 1 do you understand because x is equals to minus 1 is given right so in place of x you are going to substitute minus 1 see here you have an x so I put p of minus 1 is equals to 3 again I put a bracket for the x I put minus 1 and then it has been squared so square minus 5 as it is again for the x I put minus 1 and then minus 2 as it is ok. So, this is just you know you are finding p of minus 1 ok. So, now 3 uh, into minus 1 the whole square is plus 1. So, it becomes 3 right 3 into 1 is 3 then minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5 and then minus 2 3 plus 5 is 8 minus 2 8 minus six, uh, 2 is 6. So, p of minus 1 is 6. So, you know they may ask you the questions like find the value of p of x at x is equals to minus 1 or they may just you know directly say find p of minus 1 it means the same ok find ok if if they say find p of minus 1 it means the same. So, that way they can actually ask you what is p of 2 p of anything ok or p of 0 anything could be asked ok. So, you have to just substitute this particular number whatever is being written over here for the x in the given equation given polynomial ok and that answer whatever you get. So, you, you, you finally you know wherever you have x you are putting a number. So, you will solve it and you will get a normal answer number as an answer at the end ok. Now, look at this particular uh, question it is asking you again you know find the p of x is equals to there is an expression given like this and they are asking you at x is equals to 1. So, I have to put x is equals to 1 in the question ok. So, p of 1 is equals to 2 into 1 the whole square plus 3 and for the x again I put 1 plus 4 and a I do not know what is a so I will keep it a as it is sometimes they may give you the value of a if they are giving it you write it down otherwise you keep it as a itself a minus root 2. Now, here you see 2 into 1 square is 1 itself 2 into I mean 1 is 2 and 3 into 1 is 3 
and 4 a I cannot do anything with the 4 a. So, I keep 4 a and minus root 2 as it is. Now, these two I can add because you know 2 and 3 are like terms. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. I cannot add a 4 to this because it is having a a with it. Okay, So, it is not a like term. So, I will just leave the answer as it is 5 plus 4 a minus root 2. I cannot do anything with this. Okay, Do not ever write 9 a. Okay, It is not you cannot add them. Okay, Now, come to 0 of a polynomial. So, they may ask you what is the 0 of a polynomial like they may say find the 0 of a polynomial this is the question ok. So, first of all you should know what a 0 of a polynomial means we just learned how to find p of x right p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 and all same way 0 of a polynomial is a value of x we are trying to find the value of the x ok in the equation wherever you see here we need to find out the x value such that you know the p of x turns out to be 0 understood. So, what do you have to do whenever they ask you to find the 0 of a polynomial you take the p of x is equals to 0 that is you take the expression given to you the polynomial whatever is given x plus 5 is equals to 0 and then you take out you just solve for the x. So, you move the 5 to the other side. So, you get x is equals to minus 5. So, x is equals to minus 5 is the 0 of a polynomial p of x that means minus 5 for the x makes this polynomial 0. See you put minus 5 over here it will become minus 5 plus 5 which is 0 right. So, x is equals to minus 5 is the 0 of a polynomial. Now, look at the next one check if 2 is a 0 of a polynomial they are asking you to check now earlier we we were asked to find the 0 now they are asking you to check. So, you know that if you have to have a 0 of a polynomial then p of x should be equals to 0. Now, they are asking you that you know check if 2 is a 0 then p of 2 should be equals to 0 right. So, you put 2 for the x over here, 2 for the x over here and and then you see if that will become 0 or not ok. So, let us see p of 2 is equals to 3 to uh, I mean 3 of 2 uh, 3 times 2 the whole square minus 5 times 2 minus 2. So, now you know you will have 3 into 2 square is 4. So, 3 4 is 12 that is what you write F minus 5 into 2 that is negative 10 minus 2. So, you have 12 minus 10 minus 2, 12 minus 10 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, it is you are getting p of 2 as 0 that means you know 2 is a 0 of p of x ok. See p of 2 is equals to 0 therefore, 2 is a 0 of a polynomial p of x ok. Yeah. Now, come to the next one remainder theorem. So, based on remainder theorem they may ask you a question see this is the statement of remainder theorem see usually for your normal uh, test the written test and all you will you are expected to memorize this, but here I am going to give you just a MCQ uh, multiple choice uh, questions uh, test ok. So, you will not be uh, you will not be given all these kind of definitions ok. So, you just understand this definition so that you are able to answer the problem ok. You do not have to mug it and you know like how you write it in the normal uh, test like that you do not have to mug it, but you should understand it because based on the based on your understanding there will be questions ok. So, remainder theorem uh, is like you know if uh, see see you just read this and see what it means. Now, I will show you how uh, to solve a problem based on remainder theorem ok. So, find the remainder. So, they, this is how the question will be ok find the remainder when p of x is, uh, is, is this is the p of x ok is divided by g of x. So, what are you doing you are going to divide p of x by g of x ok and you are going to see after dividing what is the remainder you are getting r of x ok. So, we do not have to actually go by this long process here we will just you know uh, the uh, that is what uh, your remainder theorem says you do not have to actually go by a long division method you have a quicker method in this what you will do is the whatever number you are dividing with g of x that is x minus 1 right. So, they from that you will take the x value that is you equate x minus 1 to 0 ok whatever your number you are dividing it with ok that particular term you should equate it to 0 and find the value of x. So, here it is given as x minus 1. So, you get x is equals to 1. Now, you substitute this x is equals to 1 in the p of x ok whatever answer you get that is going to be your remainder ok. So, you substitute x is equals to 1 in p of x and your p of x is 3 x square minus 6 x plus 2. So, you are going to do p of 1 because we got x is equals to 1 right. So, if I am dividing it with x plus 2 for example, then I will be substituting x is equals to minus 2 
understood so here it depends upon what your g of x is so here what you do is you will take the uh, 1 and you will substitute for the polynomial so p of 1 is equals to 3 times uh, 1 square minus 6 times 1 plus 2 so that is going to be 3 into 1 square is 3 minus 6 plus 2 3 minus 6 uh, I mean 3 and 2 are having a positive number positive sign so I have added these two 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 6 you can do it either ways okay you do, can do 3 minus 6 then you can do add also that does not matter it is going to give you the same answer. So you finally get negative 1 so the remainder is going to be minus 1 okay so whatever you get over there that is what is your minus 1 okay alright now come to the factor theorem. So they may ask you check whether x plus 2 is a factor of this and this. So there are two different uh, uh, polynomials given to you and they are asking you to check if x plus 2 is a factor. So when will you call it as a factor? A factor is uh, means that you know you should have the remainder as 0. See now if I have 12 for example and I am dividing it with 6 let us say 6 2s are 12 and I get 0 as the uh, remainder right. So then 6 is called as a factor. Okay. If I divide the 12 with the 5, I get 5 2s are 10 and I am getting 2 as a remainder. So, in this case 2 is a remainder. So, 2 is not, uh, I mean you know 5 is not a factor. Understood? 6 is a factor, 5 is not a factor because it is this 6 is giving a remainder as 0 and 5 is not giving a remainder as 0. It is giving something else. Okay. So, it, uh, whatever it is, you know if it is not giving 0, it is not a factor. So, now that is what we are going to check. We have to check if x plus 2 is a factor. So, for that what you will do? You will take x is equals to minus 2 right because x plus 2 is equals to 0 you will take and you get x is equals to minus 2. So, you will find p of minus 2 let us say this is p of x and let us say this is q of x ok. So, let me use this minus 2 for the p of x. So, p of x let me take it as x q plus 3 x square plus 5 x plus 6 and I put minus 2 for the x. So, that gives you minus 2 the whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 the whole square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 ok. So, this gives you minus 2 the whole cube is going to be minus 8 because it is cube right odd power. So, you are going to have a negative sign. So, 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Here you have a even power. So, it is going to be a positive number. So, minus 2 square is going to be positive 4. Then minus 10 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 plus 6 ok. So, now you see minus 8 plus 3 4 is 12 minus 10 plus 6. Now, let me add uh, the uh, negative numbers minus 8 and minus 10 I can add both of them and put a minus sign in front of that. So, that is going to give me negative 18 and 12 and 6 are having plus sign. So, I put plus 18. So, this finally gives you 0. So, since it is giving you 0 x plus 2 is a factor of p of x ok. Now, I will have to check for the other polynomial the other polynomial given was 2 x plus 4. So, let me take q of x is equals to 2 x plus 4. Now, I am going to put minus 2 for the x and see what I get. So, when I do it I get 2 into minus 2 plus 4. So, minus 4 plus 4 which is equals to 0 understood. So, since this is the also 0 x plus 2 is a factor of q of x. Let us say I have given you one more polynomial ok. Let us say I give you uh, 3 x minus 2 ok. So, now if I put minus 2 for the x what do I get? minus 2 minus 2 here minus 6 minus 2 I am getting minus 8. So, in this case x plus 2 is not a factor of not a factor of 3 x minus 2 that is what you will write ok understood. So, you should just uh, substitute negative 2 and check ok. So, now we will have one more uh, one more this thing ok one more question and kind of question they ask. See they say they may ask you find the value of k ok if x minus 1 is a factor. So, now here they are already telling you that it is a factor ok. So, this is the p of x being given. So, this is p of x wait this is not looking neat. Let me raise it and write it again p of x um, yeah, factor of uh, p of x ok. So, this p of x is given to you and they are saying that x minus 1 is a factor. So, if x minus 1 is there I will equate x minus 1 to 0 and I get x is equals to 1. So, that is what I have written directly over here ok. I have to substitute x is equals to 1. So, p of 1 is equals to 1 cube minus 3 
times 1 square plus 5 times 1 minus k this should be equals to 0 because they are telling you right that it is a factor. So, it, if it is a factor it is supposed to be equated to 0 right. So, this will be equated to 0. So, 1 cube is 1 cube minus 3 into 1 is 3 plus 5 into 1 is 5 minus k is equals to 0. So, you get um, 1 see here what do you get 1 minus 3 is minus 2 5 minus 2 is 3 see you get 3 over here if you add all these 3 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3, right. So, here you see 3 minus k is equals to 0. I need to find the value of k. So, you can even say 3 is equals to move the k to the other side, it becomes plus k, or I can write k is equals to 3, okay. Or if you do 3 minus k equals to 0, you move the k 3 to the other side, you keep the k as it is, k will have a minus sign, okay. You move the 3 to the other side, so 3 will become minus 3 because the sign in front of 3 is plus, right. So, when it goes that side, it becomes minus 3. Now, you see, you can cancel the minus sign on both the sides, okay. So, k equals to 3. So, either ways you can do it, but be careful with the sign, understood. So, that is it. Uh, so, these are the kind of numerical problems they are going to ask, okay. And apart from this, you will have to memorize all the identities. You remember we had done all the identities, uh, the last exercise, right, uh, all the um, formulas, right. So, though all those things you are supposed to memorize it, they may be problem based on those, okay. So, you just learn that and you can go over the videos which I had done that day. So, you uh, do all these things, prepare well for your test. I will be sending you a, a Google form actually. I will tell you the details. I will send you the details about it in your um, uh, group, okay. In the group, I will be sending you the details. So, you have to take that test seriously and how to, uh, uh, when to submit the test, all those things I will be letting you know. I will tell you, okay. So, anyways, uh, all the best for your test. Prepare well, okay. Allah Hafiz.